I want to show you a meteorite from one of my favorite witnessed diagenite falls, and it actually comes from Tatooine. And I know what you're thinking. Tatooine isn't real. It's the fictional planet that Anakin Skywalker was from in Star Wars. Well, it turns out Tatooine is actually real. It's actually a small town in Tunisia that inspired the scenery for the planet in Star Wars. And if you've actually seen Star Wars, you've seen some of Tatooine because they actually filmed some of the scenes there. It just so happens that a meteorite also fell there in 1931. And from what I read, it was a really brilliant show. As the meteor flew through the sky, it fragmented, creating a really large fireball, lots of little fireballs around it. And eventually, according to the Met Bull, around 12 kilograms of material were, were found in the strewn field that resulted from the meteorite fall. Now, in this case, the meteorite is a diagenite, which means it is most likely from the asteroid 4 Vesta, which is the second largest asteroid in the asteroid belt. Now, if you look at it and look at the visuals here, you see it's kind of green and you have these crystals that are there. And that's because this came from deep within Vesta's surface and is effectively crystallized lava. That's right. It's basically space lava, which is really awesome. Now, in this case, the lava cooled slowly based upon deep, being deeper in the crust, and that's what created those larger crystals that you see here, and they're really stunningly beautiful. You can actually slice this diagenite material, and it's often translucent, and you can see these translucent greens through it. I have some of those slices. I'll maybe show them to you in another video, but this piece I really wanted to keep whole because I just think it's really pretty and a really special piece to have in my, uh, in my collection. So uh, I think it's a neat one for Star Wars fans and for meteorite lovers alike. No word yet on if it has any Force-sensitive properties. Um, I don't have anything that can read midi-chlorians here, but uh, I'll keep you posted on that one.